Hi everyone, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday and this week I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little bunny and this little amigurumi bunny and this guy measures about, I would say, probably about four to five inches in height you can see how big he is in relation to my hand or her, him or her <laughs> and we're going to be using some DK light worsted weight yarn and I've chosen um, sort of like a creamy white and also an alternate colour as well for the body and for doing the little nose and the flower if you want to make the flower as well and I've just chosen this, I'm going to do it in green this time, sort of a greeny yellow and I got given this um, this this yarn for Christmas so I've been keen to, to give it a try, I've never used it before I think it's actually slightly thinner than a DK light worsted weight yarn but um, you can use any yarn that you like for this project and uh, a uh, crochet hook, I'll say yarn needle, a crochet hook that's suitable for the yarn you're using. But with this DK light wool wet yarn, I'm going to be using a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook, it's quite a small hook. And it's a good idea to have a pair of scissors and a yarn needle as well. And you will also need some toy stuffing as well for stuffing the body and the head, etc. But you can also use um, yarn scraps for stuffing as well. It's a good way to use up the leftover yarn. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so we're going to start off with the head to begin. And the first thing to do is to chain four. We're going to create a little loop of our chains. Um, if you're used to doing the magic circle, you can work eight single crochet into a magic circle to begin. But we're going to do the chaining method. So we're going to chain four to begin. So, one, two, three, and four, it's chain four. I'm going to put our hook into our first chain, put our hook into our first chain and do a slip stitch. So we're going to bring the yarn through that chain, then straight through the loop on our hook. And that creates a little loop of our chains joined at the beginning and the end. And in the center of there is, you should find a little hole, there we go, and into that hole we need to work our eight single crochet. So I'm going to put my hook into that center hole, it could be a little bit fiddly at first, bring the yarn through the center, and then wrapping it around the chains I'm just going to do a single crochet, like so. And we need eight of these, so I'm going to go back into the center, try and hold on to something. <laughs> it's really fiddly. Bring it through for another one. Two single crochet. It gets a bit easier the more you do. Back into the centre. Bring the yarn through. Another one. Three. I'm just wrapping it around the chain so it doesn't matter how many chains you've got now. Seven and then let's just move it over. Squeeze in that eighth one. It's got eight single crochet and this pattern's in US terminology. Don't be fooled by the accent. So by the end of that round you should have eight single crochet. Six, eight. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to slip stitch into our first single crochet. So find your first single crochet and put your hook in that stitch, bring the yarn through and straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch to join the round. So you still have eight single crochet, eight stitches. Then what we're going to do is we're going to chain one um, but what I'm going to do is you want to keep it quite loose so it's easy to slip stitch into at the end. So to do that I'm just going to bring it up slightly and then do the chain one, so it keeps it nice and nice and loose and that makes it easy for you to see. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the same stitch that we slip stitched into to join the round, so going back into that same single crochet that we slip stitched into, we're going to do a single crochet. 
So effectively you've got two stitches in there now, you've got your single crochet and your chain one. Then we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch. So find the next stitch and do two single crochet. One and go back into the same stitch for another one. So you've got two in there. We're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around. So two in the next one. One and back into the same stitch. Two. Two in the next one. One and same stitch. Two. Two in the next one. One and two. Two in there, then two in the next one. One and back into the same stitch, two. Then two in the next one. One and back into the same stitch, two. Just doing two single crochet in each stitch around. Then the last one, two single crochet. One, back into the same stitch. And if you're new to crocheting, it's definitely worth checking out my beginner videos on the basic stitches like single crochet and then coming back to this video so you're familiar with the single crochet. And then it looks like there's a stitch left, but that's what I call a fake stitch. I often mention that in my videos. Um, so don't let that confuse you. You should have a stitch count now of 16. So you should have doubled up from eight. And that includes your chain one. So check you've got 16, including your chain one. And then ignoring that little fake stitch there, which confuses you, just next to that on the left is your chain one. And you're finding your chain one, you want to slip stitch into it. And hopefully, if you kept it loose enough, it should be fairly easy to see. And just go under two little bits of yarn, like that. Bring the yarn through your chain one. Oh, missed it. Let's try again. It's very hard with the camera in front. <laughs> Bring that through your chain one, then straight through the loop on your hook to slip stitch and join the round. So by the end of that round, you should have a stitch count of 16. Now we're going to uh, move on to the next round. And again, we're going to chain one and bring it up. Keep it nice and loose. So don't worry about it being too loose because it all gets hidden at the end. Then what we're going to do, we're going to go straight on to the next stitch. Find that next stitch and do two single crochet. So one and another one in the same stitch. So you've got an increase in there of two. Then what we're going to do though is in the next stitch we're just going to do one single crochet. So go into the next stitch and just do one single crochet, just the one by itself. And then two single crochet in the next stitch. So go into the next stitch and do two single crochet for an increase. One and back into the same stitch for another one. And we're going to repeat this round doing one single crochet in the next stitch, then two single crochet, then back to one single crochet, then two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. Repeat that back to the beginning. You should end up on a two single crochet and you should have a stitch count of 24. Okay, so just repeat that, doing one single crochet in the next stitch, just one, then two single crochet in the next stitch, one and two in the same stitch. Okay, then back to one single crochet, two single crochet, and then just coming up to the last two, same thing again, one single crochet in the second to last one, and then the very last stitch, two single crochets. So you should end up on two single crochet, one and another one in the same stitch. So you should have a stitch count now of 24, including your chain one. And there's our little fake stitch that confuses us, if it can be quite big. And just above that is your chain one, and hopefully you've kept it nice and loose. And we can just do a little slip stitch. Put your hook for the chain one, bring the yarn through, then straight through the loop on your hook. 
to slip stitch. Okay, so that's the end of round three. Then we're gonna move on to round four, and you should, should start noticing a little pattern here. So we're gonna chain one, again, bring it up nice and loose. Then in the next stitch, we're going to just do one single crochet this time. So finding that first stitch there, we're just going to do one single crochet. And then we're going to do two single crochet and it should match up with your previous increase. So two single crochet in the next round, one in the next stitch, one and another one in the same stitch for two single crochet. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two. So the next stitch we do one single crochet by itself. Then in the next stitch we're going to do one single crochet by itself. And then in the next stitch we're going to do two single crochet and you should see it matches up with your previous increase. So two single crochet in there, one and back into the same stitch, two. And we're going to repeat this pattern round as well. So we do one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, then our increase of two single crochet, then one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, then one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. Back to the beginning and you should end on a two single crochet again and you should have a stitch count of 32. Okay, so one single crochet in the next two. One by itself, one by itself, then two single crochet. Okay, it's just coming up to the last three. So one single crochet in the third to last stitch one single crochet in the second to last stitch and then two single crochet in that last stitch one and another one in the same stitch and then we just slip stitch to join the round so there's our fake stitch just next to that is our chain one so I'm going to put our hook into there bring the yarn through straight through the loop on your hook by the end of that round you should have a stitch count of 32. Okay, so moving on to the next round, what we're going to do, chain one again, bring it up, keep it loose, and then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches this time. So we find that first stitch and do one single crochet by itself in there, just the one, then one single crochet in the next stitch by itself, and then in the next stitch we do our two single crochet and again you should find it matches up with your previous increase so one and back into the same stitch for two okay and you should see it matches up with your previous increase then what we're going to do is we're going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches this time so in the next stitch we do one single crochet by itself and in the next stitch we do one single crochet by itself, then in the next stitch we do one single crochet by itself and then we do our increase of two single crochet in the next stitch, one and another one in the same stitch. Okay, And you should see it matches up with your previous increase. So you just repeat that pattern doing one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. Repeat that back to the beginning. You should end on two single crochet and you should have a stitch count of 40, including your chain one. Okay, so one single crochet in the next three. Okay, it's so just going up to the last four stitches and it's the same thing again one single crochet in the next three one two and three all by themselves and then the last stitch two single crochet and you should see it matches up with your previous increase one, and another one in the same stitch and then we find our chain one there it is and we just do a slip stitch into there. So by the end of that round you should have a stitch count of 40. Okay so what we're going to do now is move on to just some length rounds and to do that what we're going to do is we're going to chain one still so bring it up like that. 
but we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch around so there's no increases no two single crochets it's just literally one single crochet in each stitch around so in that next stitch we do one single crochet by itself and we do one single crochet in each stitch around by itself back to the beginning of course ending on a one single crochet as well and you're keeping a stitch count of 40 and you want to do that for round 6 to 13 so that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 so that's 8 rounds you want to do that so 8 rounds of chain 1 one single crochet in each stitch around and slip stitch to join do that for eight rounds and make sure you've got a stitch count still of 40 so you're not increasing okay so I'm going to do that and then I shall come back and show you what to do next so one single crochet in each stitch around for eight rounds okay so I'm just coming up to the last couple of stitches on the eighth round and then same as before we just slip stitch there's our fake stitch just to the left is our chain one we just want to slip stitch into there and keep it nice and big it's really easy to find okay so it should look a little something like that like a little bowl at the moment and you should have done eight rounds of just doing one single crochet in each stitch around chain one at the beginning and slip stitch at the end and because you've only been putting one stitch into every stitch with no increases it just keeps it straight and you should still have a stitch count of 40 but what we want to do now is we want to do some decreases we want to reduce our stitch count uh, back down to 32 so it's similar to um, the last increase round but we're going to single crochet some stitches together so the first thing to do is we chain one again so bring up our yarn um, then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two. So go into the next stitch and do a single crochet. And then go into the next stitch and do a single crochet. That's one single crochet in the next two. And then what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet two stitches together to decrease. So we join two together to make one stitch. And to do that we're going to go into the next stitch and bring the yarn through as if doing a single crochet but we're going to stop and go into the next stitch and bring the yarn through so we end up with three loops on our hook and then we yarn over and pull through all three and that just creates the one stitch and we've reduced our stitch count down done a decrease so that's how you single crochet two stitches together then we're going to do one single crochet in the next three so we're going to go into the next stitch and do a single crochet one into the next stitch and do a single crochet my project went a bit thick here because I had to join a, a new yarn I ran out of yarn and then one single crochet in the next stitch so you do one single crochet in the next three doo, doo, doo. and then we're going to single crochet two stitches together again so we go into the next stitch and pull through but we stop and go into the next stitch pull through and we get three loops yarn over pull through all three and that single crochets two stitches together and we're going to repeat that round doing one single crochet in the next three so one next stitch two next stitch three so one single crochet in the next three and then we single crochet two together again so into the next stitch pull through stop to the next stitch pull through three loops yarn over pull through all three so repeat that round doing one single crochet one single crochet one single crochet then single crochet two together then back to one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, then single crochet two together. And you should end up with, at the very end, you should have two stitches left and you single crochet the last two together. So uh, then your stitch count should go down to 32, including your chain one. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then I'll come back. So one single crochet in the next three, one. Okay, so then when you get to the last five, one single crochet in the next three, one, 
two, three, and then that leaves you with two, the last two stitches, and we single crochet those two together. Last stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three, and then we, there's our fake stitch, and then there's our chain one. Let's put our hook into our chain one, do a slip stitch. And you should see that your project has come in slightly with your decreases. And you should have a stitch count now of 32, including your chain one. And then what we're going to do, move on to the next round, similar thing, we're going to chain one. This time we're just going to do one single crochet just in the next stitch. So find that first stitch and do one single crochet by itself. And then we're going to go straight on to single crocheting two together. So we go into the next stitch, pull through, stop. So the next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull for all three. Then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two this time. So one single crochet in the next stitch by itself, one single crochet in the next stitch by itself, so one, two, and then we single crochet two together. So go into the next stitch, pull through, stop, to the next stitch, pull through, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. And we're going to repeat that round doing one single crochet, one single crochet, then single crochet two together, then one single crochet, one single crochet, single crochet two together. Until you get to the end and you should end up on single crocheting two together like before. So we're just doing one single crochet in the next two. One and the next stitch two. And then we single crochet two together. And your stitch count should go down to 24, should go down to 24, okay. including your chain one. Okay, so just come up to the last four, one single crochet in the next two, one, and next stitch two. That leaves us with two stitches and we're going to single crochet those two together. Like so. And then we, there's our fake stitch, and just to the left of that is our chain one. And we do a slip stitch in our chain one. So you should have a stitch count now of 24, and you should see it getting a bit smaller. Okay, so then we're going to move on to the next round, which is our last decrease round. So we're going to chain one. And then we're going to go straight into single crocheting two together. So find that first stitch, bring the yarn through, and go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, yarn over, pull through all three. And you should find that your decreases end to the right of your previous decrease, you can see there. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, just the one this time. One single crochet. And then we go straight into single crocheting two together. Let's go into the next stitch, pull through, to the next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. So repeat that round, just doing one single crochet in the next stitch, then single crochet two together, then one single crochet by itself in the next stitch, single crochet two together. And you should end on single crocheting two together, and you should have a stitch count of 16 this time. So just one single crochet in the next stitch by itself, just the one, then single crochet two together. And just repeat that round. Okay, then coming up to the last three, we do our one single crochet by itself. Same as before, the last two single crochet those two together. And then we, there's our fake stitch, there's our chain one, we slip stitch in our chain one to join the round. And now you should have a stitch count of 16, including your chain one. Okay. So all we're going to do now is we're just going to do some length rounds, as I call them, where we don't do increases or decreases. 
and for the next two rounds, so rounds 17 and 18, we're just going to chain one, just chain one, and do one single crochet in the next stitch, and one single crochet in each stitch around. So you want to keep a stitch count of 16. And we're going to do this, chain one, one single crochet in each stitch around for two rounds. So that's rounds 17 and 18, two rounds. Okay, it's just coming up to the last stitch on that second round. So you should have done two rounds of chain one, one single crochet in each stitch around, then slip stitch to join. You should still have a stitch count of 16. And you can see it creates a little bit of length, like a little neck. So all that's left to do is to slip stitch in our chain one. But what we're going to do is we're going to introduce our colour. So we're going to put our hook in as normal, but instead of yarning over with the white to do a slip stitch, we're going to put that down. And we're going to bring in our body colour of your choice. And I'm just going to hold that and then bring that through the chain one, then straight through the loop on the hook. And now we're working with our colour. That's done our slip stitch. We can pull our tail end just to tighten that and what I'm going to do now is we're going to do uh, an increase round so we're going to chain one do our little chain one like we did before and then we are going to do two single crochet in the next stitch so in the next stitch we're going to do two single crochet so one and another one in the same stitch. Okay, two single crochet. Just pull those tail ends a little bit just to bring in that join, stick them on the inside. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. So just one single crochet in the next stitch, just the one, just the one. And then we're gonna do two single crochet in the next stitch two so one and another one in the same stitch and we're going to repeat this round <laughs> if I can catch it we're going to repeat this round doing one single crochet in the next stitch then two single crochet then one single crochet then two single crochet back to the beginning and you should end on two single crochet like when we did the increases at the beginning and uh, you should have a stitch count then back up to 24. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So one single crochet in the next stitch, just the one, then two single crochet. You should have a stitch count of 24, including your chain one. You can also cut your white yarn now as well and tuck that on the inside if you want to. Okay, coming up to the last two. We do our one single crochet in that second to last stitch and then we end on two single crochet. So one and another one in the same stitch. Like so and then we just slip stitch into our chain one which is there. You may find it a little bit loose because you joined a new colour, so just be careful. Do a slip stitch. Okay, so you should now have a stitch count, the sun's got very bright. You should have a stitch count of, what did I say, 24 now. And now's a good idea to stuff the head because that's the completed head. So just get some toy stuffing or some yarn scraps and uh, some of this stuff and stuff your head at this point. Okay, so I'm just going to stuff this and I find it a good idea to use some scissors. It's a really good way of stuffing. It creates the friction to put it in really quickly. Okay, okay, so when you're finished stuffing the head, I actually ran out of toy stuffing so I've had to use some yarn scraps. If you do use yarn scraps, it's a good idea to use quite light colours. Uh, I wouldn't advise using blacks or anything because they'll show through on the head. So try and stick to like white and light pinks and stuff. So then what we're going to do is we're going to rejoin our hook and we're just going to do a simple round of just chain one, one single crochet in each stitch around then slip stitching. So you're keeping a stitch count of 24. So again we just bring up our chain one 
and we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around make sure to get that first stitch so one single crochet in the next stitch and one single crochet in each stitch around keeping a stitch count of 24 let's go to the last couple of stitches so you still have a stitch count of 24 just one single crochet in each stitch around and then find your chain one and do a slip stitch like so then what we're going to do is we're going to do another increase round and we're going to chain one to begin let's bring up your yarn do a little chain one and we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch so just one single crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch so one and another one in the same stitch okay so you've got two in there and then we're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches. So in the next stitch we do one single crochet. Then we do one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so that's one single crochet in the next two. And then we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch. So one and another one in the same stitch. So you've got two in there. Okay, and then we're going to repeat that round just doing one single crochet in the next two. So one single crochet, one single crochet, then two single crochet, then one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, and you should end up on your two single crochet. And you should have a stitch count of 32, so it should go back up to 32. Okay, so that's one single crochet in the next two. One, and the next stitch. Two, and then two single crochet. Then coming up to the last three stitches, we do one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and then we end on two single crochet in that last stitch. One and another one in the same stitch. Two. And then we slip stitch in our chain one, there's our fake stitch, there's our chain one Oops. do a little slip stitch and your stitch count now should have gone up to 32